hello everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time on my channel welcome today i am making a delicious seafood okra soup this soup is so delicious you will lick your fingers so let me show you how to make this finger licking soup to make this soup you will need some okra any vegetable of a choice onion and pepper palm oil and salt dadawa ground crayfish and seasoning cube shrimps and crabs catfish and mackerel periwinkles and clams this is what clam looks like i'm going to start by heating up some water in the pot while it is heating up i'll prep the other stuff so i'll start by slicing the peppers and the onion i will slice and dice them you could blend blend your pepper if you want you could blend both of them together but they say why do mine i will slice the uh, pepper separately and set it aside then i'll slice the onion you could do this in a blender sometimes i bl just blend everything together so i'll just dice the onion and when i'm done i'll set it aside and then i'll start uh, cutting the okra cutting the okra is time consuming and, and i'm going to show you different ways to cut it you could cut it like this and dice it and i will still show you other ways i do it so i'm going to roughly chop it add some okra because i i like to blend them together so i'll chop the okra together with the onion Let me show you another way. You can still cut your okra like this. It's another faster way to do it. Let me show you how to check if your okra is fresh. Just break off the tip. If it breaks, that means it is fresh. If it doesn't like this one, that means it is not fresh. It's not good. It's gonna be stocky. So you could use a grater too to grate it like this generally i like to buy the the smaller okra because they are fresher compared to the bigger one those bigger ones are older so sometimes they lose the uh, viscosity and the freshness so as a rule of thumb buy smaller okra you're gonna enjoy your okra you're gonna have more for your bug than buying bigger some people they go to the store and they look for the very large okra I say oh my god those are old okra <laughs> you're gonna throw them away because they're gonna be stocky but the smaller ones are 90 percent of the time fresher so i'll just run my knife over it like this i will do it over and over and the more i do it the more viscous it becomes and it becomes smaller and it's not too smooth as when you blend it when you put it in a blender i use blender to uh, uh blend my okra but it is when it is frozen sometimes i buy frozen okra and i use the blender to do it but since it is fresh there is no need because if you use the blender it's gonna be too smooth almost like liquidy i like to cut my okra into two different sizes i cut them into small bits like the first batch i like it chunkier too so that you can bite into something but not too big but at least something that is visible the ones cut into smaller pieces makes the soup more viscous then the chunkier ones are just for decoration i've already prepped everything the fish the crab i've already cleaned everything so now it is the cooking proper so to the pot i will add some oil it's about a cup of oil then i will add in my homemade dried fish the link is in the description box check it out i will add in the diced pepper the locust beans fermented locust beans also known as dadawa the crayfish and i will let it cook while it is cooking i will add in the ice fish it is seafood so ice fish is a seafood i like this one it's delicious i know nigeria don't have respect for this fish this fish is delicious so use any fish of your choice i'm just joking then i'll add in the crabs and let it cook when you cook food like this you are building up flavor and the end product is gonna be deliciousness 
so i'm gonna add the seasoning cubes and let it cook for about uh, seven to ten minutes so that everything will release its flavor and they will absorb the flavor of the soup add in some salt so while it is cooking if this is your first time on my channel or you have been watching my videos and you are yet to subscribe please hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you can get an alert whenever i upload a video like and share the video thank you so at this moment i'm gonna remove the fish i don't i do not want the fish to fall apart so i'm gonna remove it remove the fish because when you are cooking okra you really have to mix it when the fish is in the soup they're gonna break into smaller pieces and nobody likes that add the cooked clams then i'm adding the periwinkle i'm adding the shrimp shrimp cooks very fast so i'm gonna let it cook a little bit i already removed the catfish off camera so i just added the okra so i'm gonna start cooking I will let it cook for like four to five minutes okra cooks quick too so you don't have to don't cook okra too long so i'm just gonna beat it like that so that it will be more viscous oh i forgot to tell you guys if you want to see a video on how i clean these crabs i have a video check it in the description box so i'm gonna transfer the fish back into the soup remember they already cooked they already have the flavor so i'm just gonna continue so that they can absorb the taste of the okra too so see the way i'm mixing it gently that's how you stir okra soup that has fish so the chunkier ones i'm adding them to and the leaf we are practically done so mix it just let it cook at least five minutes your soup is ready don't overcook the okra okra is one soup that you do not overcook tasting for salt i just added a little bit of salt and that is it just added a little bit of water too because it's really thick so that's it all special shout out to all those that have subscribed thank you so much you guys are the best i really appreciate you i love you and god bless you see it is really done and it's so tasty so give this recipe a try you will not be disappointed so thank you guys for watching do not forget to check out the links in my description box on how to dry fish and how to clean crabs check them out you're gonna learn one or two things after you've given this recipe a try please come back and let us know how yours turned out thank you so much do not forget to subscribe again thank you for watching stay safe stay blessed i love you till i see you next time bye